New shooter coverage of NAB 2025 is sponsored by B&H Build Expo, June 17th and 18th at the Javits Center, New York, and Atlas Lens Co. Hi, it's Matt here for newshooter.com at NAB 2025. I'm with Hong Hao from Pixboom. Now, this is a brand new company, and you've got a new high-speed camera yeah. called Spark. Uh, just tell me about it. It has a BSIS 35 sensors that can support up to 1,800 FPS for 2K resolution and 1,000 FPS for 4K resolutions. And it's a BSI camera, so it has a more, more brighter than uh, regular sensors. Um, we so have a back, back stacked illuminated yeah, back, Super 35 sensor. Yeah, Super 35. And we also have the uh, like unplugable SSD for the uh, continuous re recording. That, uh, that means when your storage gets full, you just plug it out and plug in a new one and do continuous recording. It's up to like uh, tens of minutes uh, instead of just a loop mode uh, for several seconds. Yeah, we can do continuous recording. Yeah. So is it a proprietary SSD or you can use any off the shelf SSD for this? Uh, it's just like uh, an exclusive. The SSD. It just look like looks like this. Then you can like uh, buy it from our website, and uh, it will come with the camera. What sort of capacities will the SSD come in? Uh, it's like two point four terabytes. Yeah. Uh, two point four ter terabytes. Terabyte. Yeah. Yeah. And in terms of the uh, how do you operate the 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 camera? Onboard controls, or is there an app, or? Uh, yeah, we have like uh, uh, antennas for Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. We can like do remote control via uh, mobile apps, and we also have like uh, external port here. We can control our serial port to do remote control, uh, remote control, and we also have pogo pins here. You can like connect to our grip or our handle here to do active control uh, directly via this mount, and we and that's it. That, that's it for the remote controlling. Yeah. In terms of outputs on here, what have what have you got um, video yeah. wise? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have we have TLG SDI HDMI 2.0 both for like 4K monitoring, which is very uh, like uh, sharp and clear. And we also have the sync port with, uh, to to synchronize with other devices, uh, which is important for high speed uh, recording unit. So what are the powering options for the camera? Yeah, power options. We have a built-in V V mount that you can use any kind of V mount batteries, and we also have a DC supplier which supports like 12 volt to 24 volts uh, to, to connect to continuous uh, the supply. And in terms of um, dynamic range, do you know how much dynamic range this camera has? Uh, actually, the dynamic range haven't like fully decided yet because this uh, sensor is very like uh, still optimizing with our manufacturer. So we is maybe it's too early to talk about this uh, not for now. Yeah. We also have the options for like active locked E mount and uh, also PL mount. Okay. Now, in terms of um, I guess the most important thing is. Pricing and availability. Do you have a ballpark figure about how much the camera is going to cost yet? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a very important and interesting question. Since we are the first time to NB now, um, we haven't decided the uh, the precise precise uh, price now uh, because we also want to learn about the. Uh, uh, like, like hear some uh, suggestions or opinions for our customers to hear their voice. Uh, so to finally, uh, before we finally define the price, yeah. So, so any any sort of indication. Uh, Five thousand dollars, eight thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars. Oh, maybe like like just keep it secret right now. But must be our surprising price. Yeah, uh, com much more affordable compared to those very high end, very high expensive uh, scientific use uh, high speed cameras. Yeah. So when do you expect this to start shipping? Oh, um, and it's like several months later we will all have an official launch in Kickstarter, and like uh, after that we will start shipping. Yeah.